In this video, we're going to look at how to integrate 1 over e to the x plus e to the minus x with respect to x. So the first thing to look at when we're integrating anything is can we integrate by inspection? So we've got 1 over e to the x plus e to the minus x. Well, there's nothing obvious that will differentiate to make this. So we can't do this by inspection. So we've got to look for another method. Well, we've got a fairly tricky looking fraction and on the bottom has got both e to the x and e to the minus x, which is just one over e to the x. So that repeated bit there and the fact it's on the bottom of a fraction would suggest that substitution is probably the way to go. So let's have a go at that. We're gonna let u equal e to the x. Differentiating this gives us du by dx is equal to ex. I'm going to rearrange this now so it's in the form dx equals, so dx equals e to the minus x du, but e to the minus x is just 1 over e to the x, which is 1 over u. So dx equals 1 over u du. We're now going to substitute our u and our dx into our integral, so we get the integral of 1 over u plus 1 over u times by 1 over u du. Bringing our two fractions together, 1 times 1 on the top, and u times by the u plus 1 over u on the bottom gives us the integral of 1 over u squared plus 1 du. Now this is a slightly tricky one to spot, but this is one we can do by inspection. So 1 over u squared plus 1 is the derivative of the inverse tan of u. So integrating this, we get the inverse tan of u plus our constant c, because this is an indefinite integral, Substituting our ex back into u, we get that our final answer is the inverse tan of e to the x plus c. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.